Is it time to buy or sell Taiwan Semiconductor stock? In this video, we will explore Taiwan Semiconductor in depth. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, the 7th of August, 2024. And now, we are here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You do not want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool, powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any one among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. Since the 6th of August, 2024, our system has categorized Taiwan Semiconductor as a hold or accumulate, assigning it a score of negative 0.89. Now let us examine the stock's performance throughout this period. The stock has experienced natural fluctuations and it currently reflects a loss of negative 0.23% since our initial hold or accumulate recommendation. This equates to an average loss of negative 0.11% per day since it was designated as hold or accumulate. The stock currently rests in the lower section of a broad and weak upward trend in the short term. This may present a favorable buying opportunity. However, if the lower trend floor at $148.48 is breached, it could indicate a slower pace of increase and may serve as an early warning of a potential shift in the trend. The existing three-month trend points to a possible change of approximately 9% over the next three months, with anticipated returns ranging from 4.5% to 38%. Looking at the 12-month trend, it suggests a remarkable change of nearly 99% over the next year, with potential returns between 90% and 155%. This corresponds to a price range of $295.89 to $395.74 after a year. Our latest daily update for Taiwan Semiconductor includes the headline, Red day on Wednesday for Taiwan Semiconductor stock after losing 0.225%. The Taiwan Semiconductor stock price fell by 0.225% on the last day, which was Wednesday, the 7th of August, 2024, decreasing from $155.39 to $155.04. During the last trading day, the stock fluctuated 5.25%, with a low of $154.53 and a high of $162.65. The price has fallen in six of the last 10 days and is down by 2.98% during this period. Interestingly, the trading volume fell alongside the stock, which is actually a positive indicator, as volume typically follows price. On the last day, the trading volume decreased by 3 million shares, totaling 20 million shares bought and sold for approximately $3.16 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest stock price was $193.47, while the lowest was $84.02. Currently, the price is 19.86%, or $38.43, below the 52-week high of $193.47, which is also the all-time high for the stock. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, or TSMC, remains a focal point for investors, particularly in light of its recent quarterly results, which exceeded expectations. This comes despite a decline in stock prices due to market anxiety. The current valuation presents a compelling opportunity for those considering growth at a reasonable price, with a price-to-earnings growth ratio at just 0.91. Furthermore, TSMC's strong position in the semiconductor market, holding a 62% market share, uniquely positions it in an industry poised for growth. Analysts are becoming increasingly optimistic, emphasizing ongoing innovation and the company's robust partnerships with fabless design firms. 
The semiconductor sector is witnessing a significant increase in sales, with TSMC particularly benefiting from heightened demand for semiconductor components, driven by various technological advancements such as virtual reality and artificial intelligence. Additionally, amid recession concerns, TSMC has been recognized as a leading choice for resilient growth. Over the next few years, the company's revenue growth is anticipated to accelerate, reinforcing its status as a standout performer within the broader market. Both in the short and long term, these factors could positively influence TSMC's stock price as investors look for opportunities in growth-oriented, recession-resilient stocks. TSMC's strategic positioning indicates that it will not only navigate current economic uncertainties, but will also take advantage of the increasing demand for semiconductors, paving the way for sustained investor interest. Analyst Ratings On Friday, the 19th of July, 2024, it was reported that Needham assigned a buy rating to TSM while also recommending a hold action. On Thursday, the 11th of July, 2024, it was reported that Susquehanna provided TSM with a positive rating along with a hold action. On Thursday, the 20th of June, 2024, it was noted that Susquehanna granted TSM a buy rating with a hold action. On the same day, the 20th of June, 2024, Needham reported a rating of underperform for TSM, also recommending a hold action. On that same day, Bernstein gave TSM an outperform rating accompanied by a hold recommendation. Analysts have assigned a general neutral rating to Taiwan Semiconductor stock. They categorize the price-to-earnings ratio as a strong sell and the price-to-book ratio as strong sell. In terms of return on investment, the analysts consider the stock to be a strong buy. The following signals have been identified for Taiwan Semiconductor. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Monday, the 5th of August, 2024, and so far it has risen approximately 4.79%. Further increases are indicated until a new top pivot is established. However, negative signals have also emerged, which may influence short-term developments. The Taiwan Semiconductor stock currently holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages, presenting a more negative outlook for the stock. Additionally, there is a general sell signal indicated by the relationship between these two signals, where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On upward corrections, there will be some resistance at the levels of $155.25 and $170.91. And A breakthrough above either of these levels will generate buy signals. Furthermore, there is presently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, or MACD. Volume decreased alongside the price during the last trading day, which lowers the overall risk as volume is expected to follow price movements. Here are some additional signals you might find intriguing. Moving average convergence divergence indicates a sell signal. Pivots suggest a buy signal from three days ago. Bollinger reveals a buy signal from 10 days ago. The short-term moving average indicates a buy signal from seven days ago. The long-term moving average reflects a sell signal from 17 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages indicates a buy signal from 12 days ago. When we examine the 12-month chart, we observe the short moving average shows a sell signal from 17 days ago. The long-term moving average indicates a buy signal from three days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages reflects a buy signal from 177 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us if you wish to discover more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Taiwan Semiconductor Taiwan Semiconductor finds support from accumulated volume at $149.86. This level may present a buying opportunity, as an upward reaction can be anticipated when the support is tested. This stock experiences significant movement throughout the day, indicating volatility. With a broad prediction interval from the Bollinger Band, it is categorized as high risk. During the past day, the stock fluctuated $8.12 between its high and low, 
which is a 5.25% change. Over the last week, the stock has shown an average daily volatility of 7.19%. Before we dive into the potential trading levels for Taiwan Semiconductor, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, let's discuss the price-to-earnings ratio, commonly known as the P-E ratio. This important metric measures a company's current share price in relation to its earnings per share. This P-E ratio is fairly typical, often seen in companies with established histories or predictable revenue streams. In other news, the upcoming earnings report for the third quarter of 2024 is anticipated on the 17th of October, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates stand at $1.69. Keep a close watch on these figures, as they can significantly influence stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Taiwan Semiconductor. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Taiwan Semiconductor is at $171.20. If you do not own any shares, it may be wise to wait for this level to be surpassed before considering an entry. For those who already hold the stock, this could serve as a point to contemplate swing trading. On the downside, Taiwan Semiconductor faces its first support level at $149.86. If this support level holds, it could present a favorable entry point with the expectation of a rebound. Our recommended stop loss is set at $145.33, representing a decrease of 6.26%. This stock experiences significant daily fluctuations, which introduces a higher level of risk. Additionally, there is a buy signal identified from a pivot bottom that occurred 20 days ago. Is Taiwan Semiconductor stock a good buy? Taiwan Semiconductor displays several negative indicators, suggesting it may be a sell candidate. However, given the potential for a turnaround, it is advisable to consider it as a hold candidate, meaning you might want to hold or accumulate shares while waiting for further developments. After analyzing the volatility and movements of the last trading day, our systems determine that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Thursday, the 8th of August, we anticipate Taiwan Semiconductor to open with an increase of $2.37, beginning trading at $157.41. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money and that you should consult with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. It is important not to base your investment decisions solely on information from stockinvest.us. By utilizing this information, you acknowledge and accept responsibility for your own investment choices. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Please comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a wonderful day from all of us here at Stock Invest.